But rather than supporting these things which really can help the seriously mentally ill, we mislead officials into supporting programs and supporting efforts that really don't have an impact. One of our most popular claims, if we intervene early, we can prevent mental illness. And everyone in the industry spouts this. Nonsense. We know that schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, two of the major serious mental illnesses, cannot be prevented. In fact, we'll know when it can be prevented because surely there will be a Nobel Prize to whoever figures it out. Now, it is true we can prevent progression of illness, but that means treating people who have it, not people who don't. We mislead about risk factors. We wrap everything that makes you sad in a mental health narrative, whether it's uh, poverty, bad grades, unemployment, angst about social, uh, sexual identity. These are all now mental illness conditions or they're risk factors for mental illness. If we start spending our money on all these things that uh, make people sad, what's left for the seriously ill? And because we mislead about what constitutes a mental illness, we mislead about treatment. Anything that makes you happier is now a treatment. Now, I <laughs> don't laugh at my dog. <laughs> I love my dog. Being around my dog makes me happier. But that does not mean my dog is a therapy dog or that, or that every dog is a therapy dog. Mindfulness, meditation, yoga, dancing, art are all now therapies to treat mental illness. And when we start diverting our funds to all those efforts, what's left for people with serious mental illness?